Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. In yesterday's session, we discussed about pricing SAP SD enhancements. Uh, in that uh, session, we discussed about TBRVC variable. But uh, so many friends requested to publish one video about this TBRVC variable, how to use this, how it works and all. So first of all, let's go through the requirement what we discussed yesterday. So as part of this requirement, this functionality will be activated for the certain item categories like TAS, TAB and TAK. And coming to shipping conditions, it will be enabled for the shipping conditions 3, 6, 8 and 10. For other shipping conditions, this, this change shouldn't trigger at all. It shouldn't trigger at all. For example, if we don't use either a custom table or TVRVC variables, then what will happen now? So if we don't use them, then uh, what will be the consequences is that, see here we are uh, reading that uh, we are passing shipping conditions from KYMP structure to verifying the data retrieved from the uh, custom table, VSBED, right, GTVSBED. For example, if we don't write any custom table here, there is no custom table developed here, no TVR is variable is used here, then how the code looks here? The code will looks like read table KOMP with key. So VSBED equal to, for example, what we have mentioned here, we have mentioned 3, 6, 8 or 10, right? Then what we will be adding the code here? I will be mentioning as 03 here like this. Because I don't want, I want to ex exclude freight cost for the 03 shipping condition. In other words, we want to ex exclude this functionality for item category task. So if we haven't used custom table or TVRS variable, then this will be the code that we are going to add in that routine. If you see this code carefully, what we are doing here, we are simply hard coding. Okay, this means hard coding. Hard coding means we are we are entering the values as directly. We are adding that we are inputting the values directly. It's kind of hard coding. In ABAP terminology, we call it as in hard coding, right? So VSBD 03 and PSTYV GTAS, RTAS, anything is fine. Okay, so we have added the code now. The change is working fine now. There is no issue at all. So later in future, for example, business came back to us saying that, no, 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 I want to apply freight cost now for 03 shipping condition or tax item categories i want to apply now if they say like this then what we will do now now we need to remove this code right we should switch it off this code right to do the validation on 03 shipping condition tax item category level so we need to comment out this code ABAP team will comment out this code So to do this, ABAP team will open this routine, right? Go to change mode of the routine and they will do some coding here and they will do the comment out and they will uh, transport the changes to quality. Then the changes will go to production. See, we are unnecessarily touching this object now. The object here is nothing but the routine object. Routine is nothing but object here. So whatever we use in ABAP, program, report, smart form, function module, class, method, BAPI, anything, we simply call it as an object, right? So in this case, we are touching this routine object and we are writing some changes here. This is one of the drawback of touching the code again and again. In other cases, what I can say is that suppose the same routine is used by some other project also, some other team also. That means if the same 
routine is locked in another tr then i can't do any changes in this routine right it's not possible at all if that is locked in another tr i can't save those tr in my in the i mean i i can't save this routine in my tr because it's already locked by other person in other another tr right so these will be the problems that we face if we hard code the the changes as it is in the code level sap also saying that don't use hard coding always use either custom tables or tvrvc variables okay now you got some idea about tvrvc variables now i will show in system let me log in so now we understood the what will be the drawback if we don't use tvr variable or custom table now we will see what will be the benefit if we use tvr vc variable okay the transaction code okay first of all let me tell you the table first let me go to se16n the table here is that tv ar vc so in this this is the table tv ar vc the table and here we can see lot of variables available here you see this is one variable and this is one more variable and this is one more variable and this uh, variable sap underscore comp underscore check underscore ev sr this variable contains the values so remember this is a low field this is a high field and here we have mentioned some values here similar way one more uh, tvr variable that is sap fast close book cross underscore p is a parameter and is an select option fine so this is the tv table tv arvc is the table where we can see all the declared tv arvc variables okay now how to create the tvrs variables the t code here is that stv arv remember this t code stv arv okay in stv arv we have two options are here one is parameter another one is select options right if i go to the table again you see here parameter is p only so some tvr variable have having the type as an parameter some having the name as an i mean type as an yes the difference between p and s is that p means one tvr variable can hold only one value and coming to yes means yes can hold multiple options you see tvr variable is same but it is having different values but parameter type p type means it can hold only one value at a time it's always suggestible to use yes only that means in stv arv transaction code we should always use the select options that will be suggestible right so how to create the tvrs variable first click this change icon then you see option to create so before create we should enable this check box include changed entries in the transport request for example if we want to transport this tvr which changes from development quality and from quality to production then we should capture those changes into the tier how can we do that first we should enable this one then try to create the new tvr variable so i will create like a gcas underscore test then what i will do i will click this multiple selection option i click this one i can give like 10 20 something 30 and save it and if i click save system will prompt the tr 
window click save see i am getting the tr window suppose if i don't select this one if i creating the one what i will do again i will enter the same values 10 20 30 and if i save means saved see if this this feels unchecked now system not proposing the tr window to save the change, changes into the tr it's always recommended to check this one to transport the changes to the tvs variable i mean the tr and if i go here if i refresh this uh, tvr we see and if i scroll to the bottom you see three entries have been added this is the one i have added now the type we can't uh, select here but based on these two tabs parameter and result options system will by default get this type automatically and uh, include also comes automatically only equal to this is the value one more thing i will have to highlight here is that you see here this option if i select this one here you see multiple options here single value greater than or equal to between range we have some other options also here right so this is how we should create the tvrvc variable okay now come to the code again suppose if we have used this tvs variable concept here so how to write the code here simple select star from tvrvc where so name so name equal to we execute this one right into table lt vsbd something like this okay then simple now so okay let me make it as gt vsbd yeah gt vs yeah so the, the tables are same now this code will follow as it is suppose a business saying that no 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 don't want to uh, exclude the freight make it as an applicable to 03 shipping condition for example make it an active don't exclude it apply it this is apply it means then no, no need to touch the code not required at all what we can do we can simply go to the tvs variable go to stv arv transaction code right so go inside this one and uh, okay let me go to change mode go here and remove it 10 for example okay and save it save it simple now that means this changes won't work for the shipping condition 10 now similar way if they want to include so as of now we have we can see 20 30 are there if they say that i want to exclude freight cost for 35 shipping condition then what we can do simple so again go to that uh, change mode add 35 execute save it that means we have enabled this uh, exclusion freight cost uh, functionality for shipping condition 35 also code not touched at all simply controlling this tvs variable will be sufficient no problem at all everything will be safe similar way they want to make it applicable for uh, item category wise also what we can do simply create one more, one more uh, tvs variable pstyv and maintain dash tab tak and uh, execute yeah saved it now i refresh means i will get those three okay now we have we have enabled this uh, exclusion functionality for the item category task tab tag only now they want to include for one more item category tan what i can do simply i can go to this uh, tvrs variable add a tan also execute save it now refresh it means see now tan has been included means freight cost should be excluded for tan also see if they say that don't exclude freight for task means simple i can remove the task here again now 
then so for tas now flight class will be applicable see tas has been removed now hope you you guys got the clarity now how this tv ervc variable works and uh, what is the advantage the advantage of this variable is that dynamically we can control the functionality anything to make this functionality work for a sales document type wise create tvs variable maintain the tvs variable and maintain the sales document types and make it work for any customers mention those list of customers and make it work for that uh, sales organization wise maintain that anything anything we can control through tv rvc variables it will be dynamically controlled no need to touch the code again and again it's not required at all right this is the one of that uh, good practice a paper should follow and functional team should also inform same thing to abap team to use this tvs variable wherever it's required to activate or inactivate any kind of functionalities in the sap system hope you guys got some clarity about this tvs variable thank you friends we will meet in the next video